everyone. Today's class is a nice relaxing yin class. We'll be seated the whole time and I've designed it so that you should only need a strap and a blanket for today's class. You may not even need those items um, if you make the modifications that are suggested. So let's go ahead and begin in our pose of the child and we're just going to come to that place to get centered and in a headspace for our practice today. So start by kneeling and releasing your upper body forward, relaxing on your hands or a pillow or blanket. Make space for your belly and chest between your knees if that feels good for you or if you need to prop your chest and belly up, bring those legs together closer. If it feels better for you to relax your hands, fingertips curled up toward the ceiling behind you by your sides, go ahead and do that. So many options. The idea is to get into pose of the child and to start to become aware of the body and the breath. When you're rounded up like this in a ball, it's really easy to start to feel the breathing pattern because you're compressing in the abdomen with it right on top of those thighs. So check in and see if your breath is shallow or deep or somewhere in between. Just observe without judgment. Try to soften in your shoulders a little bit more. Relax in the head and neck. Release tension in the face. The jaw unclenches, the spine melts down through the body toward the floor. And now consciously bring your breath to a deeper place, inhaling deep through the nose, feeling the sensation of filling your body with air and then exhaling deeply from every crevice of the body where you're holding air releasing the air and feeling that sensation throughout the body inhale breath nice and deep as you continue to melt the body down around in front of you if they're behind you press into your hands 
and bring your upper body upright. Sit up nice and tall, and then go ahead and move into a tabletop position, dropping your knees back under the hips and keeping your wrists directly under the shoulders. So today's class is going to be a lot of shoulder and hip openers, and we'll be holding these poses each one, each side, for about three minutes each. So try to manage your head space and work on that mindfulness aspect. Staying connected to the body and the breath, but disconnecting from thoughts that don't serve you and your practice. Take your right hand, slide the back of the hand underneath that left shoulder and rest on your right ear and the right shoulder. If you need to stack a blanket underneath that shoulder and right ear, go ahead and do that for support. If it's simply too much for you to rest on that shoulder, you can just rest on your right elbow as long as you're not putting too much pressure into that joint and then slowly coming down Again, resting on a blanket and then coming down fully. Now once you come down, remember we're going to be holding this for a total of three minutes, already about 30 seconds in. You can bring your left arm up and reach your fingertips toward the ceiling. You can do that now or wait till we're about halfway in. And then another option is to take your left hand and wrap it around to the front of your right thigh via your lower back. Only do that if it feels good for you and helps to open your shoulders, left shoulder in particular, opening to the left wall and doesn't cause you strain or stress in your right shoulder, head and neck area.
you have that left hand in front of the right thigh, go ahead and stretch the left arm up toward the ceiling. Then press your left hand into the floor next to the face. Everyone, slide that right hand out from underneath you. Press your hands under the shoulders. Inhale, cow belly, look up. Exhale, round into cat back. Feeling that left shoulder, hopefully nice and open. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. One more time. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. And let's come to the other side. Left hand is going to slide underneath the right shoulder. Rest on your left ear and left shoulder. If this caused you any pain on the other side, please feel free to stack with a blanket, even a super thin blanket. If you'd like to take the option of reaching your fingertips up toward the ceiling, go for it. That's just going to open up the chest a little bit more and shoulder on the right side. And if you'd like to take and drop that hand along the lower back and hook the hand in front of your left thigh, you can take that option as well. away from you gently with that left shoulder as you continue to open the right shoulder up toward the ceiling. right hand back up if you had it hooked and drop your hand right next to your face press into that right hand slide the left hand out from underneath you press hands right under shoulders again inhale exhale open your right ribs to the right wall as you bring your left chin to your left hip come back to center inhale exhale to the other side Inhale, center. Exhale, side. Inhale, center. Exhale, side. And come back to center. Go ahead and come into a kneeling position or hero's pose. If you have trouble kneeling for any period of time, you can stack a blanket underneath your bottom. That should help you out. You can also just sit in easy pose if you prefer that. Have your strap nearby. We're going to do our cow face arms here. 
And you don't have to have the strap. You don't have to actually link your hands for this to work. We're continuing our work in the shoulder opening area. So you'll see what I mean as we progress. So let's start by sitting up nice and tall. Stretch your right arm up. Reach your fingertips toward the ceiling without reaching your right shoulder up toward your ear. Keep the shoulder lowered, but reach your fingertips up so that arm is stretched long. Then drop your right hand down the back body with the palm facing the back. Take your left hand, and if you're able to, press gently that arm and elbow region down so that you're getting that right hand as low on the back as possible without overstretching. Bring the chin back up, totally natural for that chin to drop down. Now reach your left hand like you're trying to touch the left wall, reach it long. And then sweep that arm in back of you, bend the elbow, palm is open, back of the palm toward your back. And then try to get your fingers as close to the right fingertips as possible. It's okay if your hands are not touching. Pressing those fingertips toward one another. Now, if you're just like, I don't feel this, this isn't working for me, I can't do it, then you can grab that strap Start over, holding the strap in the right hand. Go through those steps to get yourself back to this place for this deep stretch in your right tricep. So feeling this in here. All of this is connected with the shoulder and chest, the rhomboids, the trapezoids, the shoulder blades. So by loosening and opening these areas, stretching them deeply, we're able to release tension and tightness in those larger, major points in the body like the shoulders. Close the eyes and breathe deeply. Abdomen is nice and open, chest is open. You can get a nice deep breath in there. Remember not to drop the chin into the chest. Keep the spine as tall and long as possible. Don't let those shoulders creep up toward the ears. Try to keep them pressed down and away. Um, if you're tired of kneeling, take this opportunity to sit in a different position. You can actually grab a bolster too if you need to sit on a bolster. Whatever works for you so that you can stay here. Now we're going to move into the other side and if you feel like you need that strap on this other side, go ahead and place it in your left hand. Sitting up tall. Reach your left fingertips toward the ceiling without letting the shoulder rise. Drop that left hand down the back body. Palm faces the spine. Reach your right arm out toward the right wall. Bend that elbow, reaching the right hand back behind you, sliding the back of the hand up to meet your left hand if possible. If not, hold on to the strap and gently pull the hands as close together as possible. Do a chin check, making sure it's not dropped down into the chest. 
do a shoulder check, making sure they're dropped down away from the ears. Nice tall spines. I just noticed my belly is pressing forward, so I'm rounding that spine. I'm gonna press the belly button into the spine to keep a nice straight spine and make the back of the head an extension of that. So I'm sitting up nice and tall. See what you can do to make this mo mostly about your left tricep. Breath is nice and deep. hip opener for us, moving from the shoulders and upper body, opening into our hips. So what I'd like you to do is sit up nice and tall, and just gently walk the upper body forward, and rest somewhere on your hands, on your forehead, resting on the floor, maybe stack a blanket or a block or a bolster, whatever you can do to relax your upper body forward into a fold. But if your head does not touch a surface in front of you, that is okay. Just work on rounding that back and releasing your head toward the floor.
If you find the body can relax down a little bit deeper, drop that upper body down a little deeper. Stretch out longer. Every time you exhale, try to drop down closer to the floor, even if it's just a centimeter. in our hips so you can see we're opening those hips this way deer pose allows us to do an internal rotation in the hips which is very um, unusual in, yo in a yoga practice so what I want you to do is take your you can scoot up toward the front of your mat take your front shin and make that parallel to the short edge of your mat take your right leg and you want to have that right shin parallel to the long edge of the mat, okay? All right, how's everybody doing? Okay, good. So if you need to stack anything up underneath you, you would do it under your bum, give yourself a lot of support there. You could also sit on a bolster or several pillows here to make this more comfortable. The other thing you could do is not bring that leg quite so far back, okay? This is just the ideal to have this right leg, right shin along the long edge, left shin along the short edge. So a lot of people like to just fold forward in this and you're gonna get a similar stretch in the left glute to when we do pigeon pose, right? But you can take another option to get that internal rotation feeling and, and stretch by leaning back into your hands behind you just like so. It's very intense, so you don't wanna go too far back, all right? If you're super bendy, you can drop down onto your elbows, all right, back here, but I'm, I'm not there because I do so much hip opening in yoga this is a challenge for me. I feel super tight in here, so I'm gonna take it easy. But I see some of you already drop down into your elbows and that's fantastic if you can do that. Just listen to your body, don't overdo it. And yeah, if you are dropped down on your elbows, you can either drop the head and neck back all the way, if that's okay with your head and neck, or keep your chin tucked into your chest. Choose one or the other not right in the middle, otherwise your neck will probably fatigue. You can also take the option of using this as that deep glute stretch. So feel free to lean forward. If you just don't like this at all in that rotation, yeah, go for it. Especially if you did a bunch of squats on Monday. All right, and you might be a little sore in your glutes. You can take that option. deep breathing wherever you are just feeling what's going on in your body this is one of those things where from the outside looking in it looks like we're not doing a whole lot but we are a lot is happening if somebody walked in the classroom right now and said come quick look outside there's something crazy going on it would take me a lot longer to get up and out of this position than it, you would think because of how intense it is beautiful and you might 
come to a place and go, all right, we're halfway in, I'm going to go into a different zone. You absolutely can do that. Start to walk your hands back toward that right leg. 
bring your left knee up. Good, lean back into your hands. Feet together at the top of your mat, drop your legs to one side and then the other. Keep that going. Nice. resting on the floor. So as we've talked about, you don't want to get too cool too fast. So if you want to have some things nearby or go ahead and put your socks and your sweater back on, <coughs> do you have that nearby? So our next stretch is a nice lengthening stretch long across the entire body. So stretch yourself out in corpse pose to begin. You can peek up here first to see before you come all the way down what we're gonna do. We'll be dropping our hips over to the right side of the mat and moving our legs over to the left bottom corner of the mat and crossing the ankles. We're gonna take our hands and bring them behind the head and bring our upper bodies toward the left corner of the mat and drop our right hip down toward the right side of the mat. Okay, so go ahead and do that with me. I'll give you the instructions again if you were up looking. So you go from corpse pose to lifting your hips to the right corner or the right middle of your mat, bringing your legs to the left corner of your mat crossing your legs at the ankle, if you're able to. If that doesn't work for you, just let your legs bend up and hang there at the left side of your mat. Then lift your head up and place your hands behind the head and the top of the neck. And lift that head and neck over to the left top corner of your mat. Feeling the stretch along the right side of the torso, the right ribs, perhaps even in the right low back, and down into the right glute and hip. Just close your eyes here and melt. Move your hips back to center. 
and stretch yourself out in corpse pose just for about 20 seconds here. I want you to see how your body is feeling. Scan your body from the crown of the head to the toes. See if you can detect a difference on one side of the body than the other after that stretch. it in terms of hot or cold, tight or loose, one color versus another, just a feeling. And now let's lift those hips up. You can bend up your knees if that helps and bring those hips to the left middle part of your mat. Drop your legs over to the right side, feet to the right bottom corner of your mat. Cross your left ankle over the right if you're able. And take those hands behind the head, lifting that head over to the top right corner of your mat. Close the eyes and let the body melt down. are looking at yourself from an aerial view, a bird's eye view, you have this nice C curve going on from your toes to your right elbow. And that nice stretch in the middle of that C. and bring our arms at right angles at the elbows and bring our right knee up. I'm going to tell you to lift your head and neck up and you're going to rest on your right cheek, right side of the face. And then we're going to switch the legs and lift up and rest on the other ear, okay? Really wonderful floor assistance, final twist, hip opener, chest opener, awesome stuff. So, 
bring your head resting on the left side of the face. Arms are at those right angles. Your elbows are right out from the shoulders. Bend up your right knee. Good. And let that right hip just melt down toward your mat. In some classes where they have sandbags for yoga props, they'll place a sandbag on your butt cheek, right butt cheek here, to help melt that hip down toward the floor. It sounds a little more painful than it is. It's kind of nice to help you gently ease that hip down and open in the hips. So right now our spine isn't too twisted because we have our head resting on the left side, which is the same side we have our hip open. When we come to lifting our head and turning to rest on the other side of the face, you'll notice the stretch intensifies in the neck region because we're creating a twist facilitated by using the, using gravity and the floor. So lift your head and neck up and now rest on the right ear, right side of the face. Keep your right leg just as it is, arms just as they were.
to come out of this, you'll straighten your left leg. Press into your hands. And roll over onto your backs in corpse pose for final relaxation.
Becoming aware of your body resting on the floor, go ahead and wiggle your fingers and toes. And gently roll yourself over to one side. And when you're ready, press up to sitting. I hope you have nice open hips and shoulders now. And have a great rest of your day. Awesome work. I will see you next time. Until then, namaste.